My name's Joe Ashworth. I am a member of the NAMI Maryland Board of Directors. And I would like to talk to you for a few minutes about NAMI Maryland. Uh, I, we, I am passionate actually about NAMI Maryland. I've been involved with that, this organization for about six years and I've been a, a member of NAMI uh, since 2007. Uh, and it, it is a unique organization and it's very unusual. Uh, in that we, uh, you know, we have thousands of members here in the state of Maryland, and we are a peer-led organization, which means we, uh, everyone leading our programs and and education classes has lived with mental illness or they have that in their family. We're the uh, largest grassroots organization in the country, uh, part of a national and international uh, movement. Uh, we, uh, what we stand for is uh, providing education, support, and advocacy uh, for those living with mental illness uh, and, and their families. Uh, I, I just want to give you uh, some background about me. Uh, mental illness has affected our family dramatically. Our, uh, our oldest daughter, who's now 37, uh, was uh, diagnosed with uh, bipolar 1 disorder about uh, 14 years ago. And she's lived with it successfully uh, since then, but she has had two psychotic breaks. And uh, thanks to NAMI, uh, we were able to get her uh, the help that, that she needs. And now she's been able to, uh, to build a family. She has two beautiful children and none of that uh, we're convinced would have happened without the, the skills and the tools uh, that, that we got from NAMI. NAMI gave us the courage really uh, to fight back uh, the stigma that, that she experienced and her family experienced, and also to advocate uh, for those uh, in need of, of services and uh, to encourage people to, to go to the top to get the best uh, care. One of the things that NAMI does is uh, throughout the state of Maryland is we, we have a strong advocacy effort. We're very proud uh, that in this past session of the General Assembly that ended in, in April of 2021, we were able to increase the funding for uh, crisis intervention teams in the state. And that's, that's critical because they are a lot of times the first time that uh, the system really comes in contact with people with a mental illness, mental illness, and the crisis intervention teams are, are trained uh, law enforcement officers and uh, uh, mental health professionals that can that are trained to diffuse the situation and uh, prevent escalation. So, so we're really proud of that, and that's just one of our our ongoing efforts and. I would be excited uh, to give you more information about NAMI Maryland and how we can, can help you or answer any questions you have. So thank you for your time and uh, please do not forget NAMI Maryland, we are there. Uh, we're reachable 24 hours a day through our, our warm lines. So good luck.